Hello guys, I am Jitendra Chaurasia. Welcome to my channel, The Office Guys Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I am going to show how you can create a webinar poster invitation uh, design. So in this pandemic time, a uh, lot of webinars are going and uh, you may also need to create some invitation. So this tutorial is going to help you uh, if you want to create such. So one example is, is on the screen. Okay guys, uh, don't worry, uh, this all data is fake. So just for your uh, reference so i'm creating this particular design to be posted on instagram so that uh, uh, i can take the dimension of the slides accordingly okay let me just take a, a new document okay so i have a new document here i'll come to design tab slide size custom slide size and i'll give it a width of 40 and height of 50 so it's four ratio five okay that's a perfect size for instagram i'll click okay you can click anything here maximize okay fine i will delete everything or you can do right click layout and just choose a blank layout so we are good to go here and uh, i'll keep it quick real quick so uh, how i have done is first thing is uh, you need you should have some background image okay so how i have done this uh, i have downloaded this image from internet okay i'll just drag it so I have this image uh, in case you want to download this image you will get the link in the description box and uh, this template is also available to download for free on my Gumroad page the link is given in the description box too. So what I am going to do first is I am going to resize it to match the page height. Yeah done. Now I want this little bit white area so I will keep it somewhere here okay and now I am going to crop it so I will choose from here and I'll see this edge here so now I'll do the crop on the other side so the moment you see this line you keep your cursor there okay done now click crop so our background is ready now let me just quickly paste some text so one thing you need to know what here is uh, your design matters a lot here okay guys uh, how you how you choose the color how you choose the font everything matters lot here okay guys i'm going to show you a quick example for example consider this um consider this font this font totally spoils the feel of your design and then this times new roman which most of the people use again you won't get that feeling here okay same goes with the i think this font is Vodana or the home it seems so you don't get the feeling so first thing is you need to choose right type of font then second thing is uh, your color okay so color scheme so now if you see here uh, the color scheme matches with the logo of the company okay as of now i have taken some random uh, it's a fake company uh, mock-up here so you can see the color matches with that same goes if you come color company changes you can play around with the color theme okay so this is these are the two main things that you need to take care first is font and then the color that you're going to use okay now let me come back to the tutorial so we are done with the background i'll come back to my actual design i'll like copy the company logo i'll take the company logo press ctrl v so our company logo is here now i'm, I'm going to tell you how i created this in the drawing tab i took this oval i press shift and drag it so just keep it somewhere here right click format shape fill gradient fill and let me just select this delete this select this one and delete now we need two colors so colors i'm going to extract from my logo so the first color is going to be this and the second color is going to be this orange and make sure that you don't have any shape outline so we are good to go so far so next thing is uh, you can see I, I have a place some icon over here which is uh, like a play uh, icon so how to create that let me just take a new slide for that under the drawing tab you can see option here uh, yeah this one uh, circle hollow just keep it like this okay and uh, again uh, insert shape and take a triangle and just drag this here and press shift and uh, under rotate icon you can just rotate it so i'll just keep it somewhere here it looks very big so i'll just reduce the size yeah looks fine i'll just adjust it to center it properly and make sure you select both and you change the fill to be white color 
and shape outline to no outline and select both of them you cannot see because they are white in color now but make sure that you select both of them and press ctrl g to group and ctrl c to copy and paste it here okay now you can see it now you need to resize it and keep it here next is i'm going to take a text box i'll drag it and uh, i'm going to write a content online webinar as i mentioned you before font is really important so the font that i'm going to use here is called rajdhani uh, i'll provide the link so that you can download it and it's a free to download font rajdhani and i want it bold category okay so no need to use bold from here and i'll place it over here somewhere increase the size a bit and change its color to white okay so now let, let me just preview out how, how it looks so far okay nice i i, I think this circle is uh, still uh, we need to uh, raise it up a little bit so i'll just raise it up okay now i think it looks fine let me just see yeah now it looks fine okay what next so we have some text here i'll directly take so just for your reference i'll just show you uh, it is rajdhani bold font with 60 rajdhani with 115 and all this so i'll just press ctrl c and i'm going to ctrl v to paste and similar way i'll take a photo and scientist name and all these things and i'm just going to ctrl v okay so let me just increase the size of this uh, before i go further yeah looks nice now once you're done with your design uh, how can you save this uh, you can come to file and you can click save as and choose appropriate folder and make sure under pptx uh, under save as type you choose the required format you want let's say you want a pdf so let's let's say you want a png file format and you can just type in a webinar poster and click save in case you have a couple of versions you can save all the slides for now i'm just saving the current slide so i'm clicking just this one so i'll just show you what 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 i got so webinar poster here and guys this is what you get so guys that's all for today's tutorial uh, i hope it, it would have helped you so this was a quick tutorial and you can download this file for free it's available on uh, the link is given in the description box and thank you guys uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel Every week I post uh, videos like this that will help you to work better in your daily day-to-day -day life. Thank you very much guys.